Hey there and welcome today. So we always have those complicated tutorials, but we don't have the basic ones, for example how to animate a circle. I'll just go ahead and show it to you very quickly. So I'll select a color scheme and I press Ctrl Y to create a background. I'll select one of the colors I have here, for example this blue one looks cool and I'll go ahead, I click here, I drop down to the ellipse tool and with my shift key I select and create a circle. Now I click on the shape layer, I want to go to window, I want to open align because I would like to align this circle in the middle. So I align it middle, middle, okay. I can even move the anchor point, the anchor point should be with my Y key middle, mid with my pen behind tool, this should be in the middle. Okay, I have a perfect circle. Now I realize I have no fill, so I click on the fill and I select one of the colors from my little color scheme here. Okay, let's go with the pink ones and I do not want stroke. I click stroke and I select none. Okay, so this is my first circle. How do I animate it? I click on it, I select an effect which is called radial wipe. You should remember this effect because it's really useful and cool. I just drop it down and you can see in my effect controls panel, I can still go back to my color themes of course, but I want my effect controls panel. If I make the transition completion like that, I'll get this animation. And let us start from 100% at the beginning. I'll keyframe that and I go to about maybe two seconds and I make it zero. Okay, so this animation will take two seconds to play. Now, if you want to make more of them, I suggest we first adjust the keyframes. Click on the shape layer and press U to reveal the keyframes. I'll select both. I right click keyframe assistant and I ease them in. So the animation looks a bit nicer. I can check exactly how nice by clicking here to the graph editor. Okay, we have an animation like that. If you see another graph, you can switch between them, between the value and speed graph. This is the value graph, this is the speed graph. Okay, I click the left point and I drag it to the middle and this one to the middle. Okay, now the animation will go slower, then quicker and then slower at the end. Woo. Okay, I think this is a really fluid and nice animation. And anything you want to change, you just for example duplicate the circle, you press S and since the anchor point is exactly in the middle, it will scale properly, okay? I'll make it like that, then I want to go back to my Adobe color scheme, I want to select my fill, my different colors and okay. I need to also make sure that this will be the second one because I wanted to have it under it. Okay, I've overdone it with the percentage, okay? Bush. And it would be even cooler, let me close the graph editor, if I place this more forward. So I select Alt key and page down, page down, page down. Okay. Bush, bush. Okay, my additional sound effects are really cool. Not. Okay, so I can do the same. I press S, I make the, the furthest one away, the, the most on the bottom side, again a bit bigger. I select fill. I change its color again to one of my color scheme things. I think I made it too big. And old page down, page down, page down. One less duplication. Make it the last. Make it the biggest one. Change the color. What do we actually want here? Maybe we want... Okay, we, we have to use the pink one. And I think I have two the same colors here. This is my little mistake. Okay, fill. Well, I've selected a color scheme with just pink colors, but okay, let it be, one, two, three, boom. And this is your entire animation. This way you would make a circle like that. Okay, let me close that down. It will go to about here. I press U, okay, the animation ends here. And you can, of course, make different evolutions. You can make the animation a bit different, but basically this is the simplest way how you can prepare an animation like this. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you do enjoy it. If you want, you have links to my courses in the description and overall more content about After Effects, which I teach. If you enjoy my teaching style, please stay on this channel and see you in another tutorial.